Hey guys and welcome back to episode 19 of the FIFA 20 Chelsea Lampard Legacy Career Mode. And as you can see in the top goal scorers, there we have Eden Hazard, just spotted that. Our ex-players, as we're into the Champions League, well, I'd say we're kind of into the next round, although we're not. We play Ajax today, uh, twice in fact, but I'm going to sim one of them. I'm going to play the first one away from home because that will be the hardest one. And I think if we can just get one victory against them and maybe not lose a second time and get a draw or another a win, we will definitely be through. So we've got four points on them now. We can afford to lose this, although we don't want to. And I've changed the training up. I've looked at some players. But of course, we can't sign anyone yet, as I'm going to show you the calendar. And five games today. Ajax is the first one we're going to play. We could play one of these two. Although we do have Ajax again, it will be probably more interesting. I do want to play a different club because I don't want to be playing the same teams. We've got Ajax again, there we go. And Manchester United, this is a difficult month, November. It's a good job it's split up with a Dynamo Kiev there so we can rotate the team. But yeah, I think I'm going to play Man United, play this first Ajax game and maybe Burnley just because it's at home. And we're starting off with a bit of a challenge here, but we are going to rotate the team because, of course, Premier League is priority, actually, this season because we're so close to the top. I think we're four points or three points off with Oblak in the net. Reese James comes in after a suggestion in the comments. I think that may be on screen with Skriniar, Atamori and Alonso at the back. Jorginho, Kante and Havertz. In the trio in midfield with Ziek, Werner and Pulisic. So yeah, Tamari's grown rating. He comes in. Alonso and James. So it's a defence change here. But I don't really see any problems with it. I may apologise for not knowing. But I think this is the Johan Cruyff Arena. I'm still unsure. As Onana's in goal. The keeper we're having a look at. Maybe uh, still could be his backup. Although that's an ask. With Botman, Blind, Veltman and Malagan. Martinez, Alvarez. Neres, Promes, Van der Beek, and Traore. I'd say that's actually a bit weaker. Although a lot weaker. Look at the defence of Veltman, who's now gone to Brighton. I mean, De Ligt isn't here. Is it Juventus on this career, of course, because that's what he's done in real life. But yeah, it looks a lot weaker. Tadic not in it as well. And here he is on the ball, Christian Pulisic. Gives it into Kai Havertz. Good move from Havertz and a good pass through to Timo Werner. Could be 1-0 already. Timo cuts back. He's got Havertz. Why has that pass gone so far back? I probably should have kept on running with Werner, but I wanted to get back on his right foot. And then I decided to pass it, and the pass was horrible. And let's not let that uh, rogue pass put us down as Kai Havertz has it now. He's got Werner behind him for some reason. Werner's going to go through that gap to Hakim Ziyech, who whips it in. Havertz, and it's gone over the net. It's our corner. And can we get a goal from this? Ziyech taking it, and it's Werner in the middle. Oh, we're expecting it to fall to Werner, and it did, and it just went wide. For Kayo Tomori, goes wide to Alonso. We just need to keep playing the way we are. Here's Kante, forward to Werner. Good back heel to Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz, back from injury, and with a goal. Kai Havertz gets us the goal against Ajax outside of the foot. I went for finesse on his right foot. I wanted to come back in and finesse it around, but no. Outside of the foot, and it looked a bit cocky. Look at this, a little bit of showboating in my opinion. The back heel as well before that makes it just sweeter. And outside of the left boot past Onana. That doesn't cover himself in glory for the keeper who we're going to sign. I'm glad we've got Onana, not Onana, Oblak now. As Kai Havertz puts us 1-0 up in this tie. The only question is though, can we get more? As that's a good pass upfield to Ziyech. It's knocked on, we're playing with confidence in this one. Definitely getting a reply from him after the West Ham uh, draw, which was disappointing in the last one. As Werner's coming forward now, he's got a gap there to Havertz. Havertz to go to Christian Pulisic. I want him to cut back Christian Pulisic. Can he finesse it? Oh, there were so many men back. And just before half-time, we have dominated these completely. We should have more goals to show for it, but we might do here. Kai Havertz and Timo Werner linking up as always. Here's Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz from goal, passes it to Werner. And that is the German link-up we love. We know and love it now. It's becoming a thing for Chelsea as Timo Werner gets another. Just before half-time as well, just when you need a goal. Onana in no man's land and Timo Werner just to tap it in. It's a sweaty goal. It's gone in. I don't care about it. And it looks like we should be getting the victory and increasing the gap to nine points over Ajax or whoever wins the other game who will have four. So yeah, five points clear in the Champions League. We're going to afford to sim some. And that's half-time. Promes with an injury as well for them. That's unlucky, but not unlucky for us. Because we've had an excellent game so far. And we just need to go into the second half with the same mentality. And here's Hakim Ziyech. Can we get a third goal straight away? Look at this. Kante. 
Good play from Angolo. Oh, and I wanted to pass it back. Couldn't get there. If Jorginho can keep the pressure on, though, we could get another really quick. And look at this. They've actually done a bit of good passing there. But Reese James comes across. Oh, what a defensive block from him as we're going to come forward. Timo Werner. I see Kante. N'Golo hasn't had one this, uh, this season, I don't think. And he still won't. That should have been free. Here's Havertz, though. And we're not giving up with these chances. Look at that ball through. Kai Havertz. Cut back. Give it Kante. This should be Kante's goal. And it's come now. It's 3-0. And we haven't had a result like this in the Champions League. I don't think ever. What a game. Now, this is what you call a reply. We we're all down after the draw with West Ham. And it's took us away from the top of the Premier League. But the reply in the Champions League is just as good. You never know. With a performance like this and the way we are playing in the Champions League, we could be on for another trophy. However, we can't let them get back into this game. Here's Neres with the ball. Goes to swing it in. That's a bad cross from them. And Reese James to head it. Not as far as I want, though. And Donny van der Beek plays a 1-2 and all black with a good save. Very good save as I think I'm going to keep Havertz on. It's telling me to take him off as Traore comes off for the hosts. A short corner run. Can we block that? It's gone into the box anyway. And all black with another good save. Just remembering as well that uh, Hakim Ziyech, our player, has played for him. So that's maybe why we're doing so well. We have an insight into their team as Jorginho can't tap it away. Alvarez. Finds Donny van der Beek, luckily. And they're passing it off the ground. That's a good move, though. And it's 3-1. A good finish. Is that the guy who's just come on? It might be, you know. Number 10, as I'm going to put Hudson Odoi on for us. I want to know who this is. Is it Neres? I don't know, but it's just a disappointment that we've conceded. This should be a clean sheet. It's been such a good performance so far. And I think it is. Is it Neres? No, it's Tadic who's just come on. I was shocked he wasn't starting. And, yeah, he scored off the bench. And here we are with the ball. Can we get a... Prospect of cancelling the, uh, what do you call it, the comeback as Hudson Odoi, who shouldn't be in cam. I probably need to switch in with Ziek. Gives it to Werner. Make the move, Hudson Odoi. That's a good move. That's a very good move. He's got on the end of it. Good save, Onana. But Ziek's going to keep it in. Can he whip it into the back post? Oh, it was almost a header from Pulisic. Oh, no, it's Jorginho, actually, as Alonso tries to keep it alive and can't do. And another chance for the hosts. Here's Tadic. Goes out wide. Can't let them get a comeback. As Reese James gets the block, and he's still fighting his Reese James. Come on, you're putting Aspilicueta, uh, giving Aspilicueta, should I say, a run for his money. As that's a bad tackle, that is. And it's a yellow card. That could have been a red. I'm going to take the free kick quick, so I want one more goal. A 4 1, damn it. Can take out, pass it right, but a 4 1 would be justice, because we pay, uh, played really, really well in this game. Botman with the ball now. Alonso can't chase him. Neres with it. Can we just get a sliding challenge in? Don't even need to. What an interception. And this game. Is over. Complete performance. Should be through to the next round. Disappointment to concede a goal. Should have been a 3-0 clean sheet. But I will take that all day long. And yeah, nothing more to say than a complete performance, which I keep repeating. As we're back into the league, five points off Manchester United. As Jorginho wants more game time. And Mason Mount's back from his uh, suspension. So he might be in the next leg. But for now, it's West Brom. And I think we're going to sim this one. Yeah, we're going to sim this one because they are 16th. And Burnley have only got one point, so I want to play that game. Get some goals in it. Get some entertainment going. As I'm going to probably keep the same team because it's somewhat rotated with Oblak, James Skriniar, Tamari Alonso, Jorginho, Havertz, Kante, Ziyech, Werner and Pulisic because I want to keep a... Uh, what's his face? Uh, Jorginho in because he's complaining. Tamari as well and James want them to improve in the defence as we're away at the Hawthorns. Should be a result though, please. They come off the back of two uh, two defeats and a draw. Can we get the win? We do. A 4-0. Beautiful. Pulisic, Ziyech, Havertz and Jorginho. All midfielders. As Baker, our ex-player for them, missed a penalty and we scored one. That's where the cookie crumbles. And look at this. We are only one point off of Liverpool and two off Manchester United who have a game in hand. I like that though. Us playing before them because it keeps the pressure on them. As I think someone said in the comments last time, put Pulisic on training. I have done. There you can see him training along with his Hassan, who's actually gone down in value. Didn't want that, because I signed him for the future. And here we are against Burnley. Did they pick any points up? Hopefully they didn't, as Manchester United got the victory. Still five points off United, as they didn't. Only one draw in ten games, nine defeats. If we lose this game, I'll be fuming. And this is the team that I'm going to play. All black in net. Reese James stays there. He's been solid. With Skriniar tomorrow staying there as well. And Alaba coming in for Alonso, who's just a bit tired. So I'm going to put him back in with Kovacic back in as well. Havertz and Kante. Ziyech, Werner and Pulisic. I'd probably call this 
apart from Aspie, my strongest squad. But I think Aspie's getting old. I agree with someone who put the comment in last time saying play James more. I think I'm just going to shove Aspie in maybe to lift a trophy off the bench or something. So yeah, I'm happy with this. Don't want a national job. And let's get into Burnley and scoring some goals. And let's have a look at this Burnley lineup on Halloween. The sky looks spooky with Collar in the net. Seamus Coleman, Gonzalez, Gibson and Suarez at the back. That rhymed Ito, Brownhill, Cork and Rodriguez with Yamachuk and Hunyu up front. I think Yamachuk, or it might have actually been Rodriguez himself, shocked us last time as we fell to an early uh, uh, trail, but then we actually got back into it and I think we won 2-1 with a handballed penalty, which got us back in the game. That was when Werner just wasn't really doing well, but hopefully he can do well here and score us some goals because we need them against bottom of the league. And here's Havertz. Pass it out to Ziyech. Can we get a bright start? Here's Ziyech. Oh, I went for that gap and it didn't go, but Ziyech's got the ball packed, uh, passed back to him. And this is why Burnley bottom of the league. They can't get out of their own area as Ziyech already scores. Five minutes in and Hakim's got two in two. He got one against West Brom in the simulated game and Burnley making their own mistakes as you do. As Look at that. A ball straight through from Kovacic who I've just put back in the team and he's proven he should be there. As Ziyech, yes, it's a rebound, but he gets the goal, which we need. And that's as confident shooting to rocket sky high as we have the lead for the third time in a row. And come on, let's keep plugging away. Here's Kai Havertz. He's got the run of Timo Werner around him. That's a good run. Havertz is tall. He can head it, but I'm going to pull back. Give it to Ziyech. Good touch. Hacking for his second, and that should have been two. I'm going to have a field day with this one if it continues. However, Burnley could have one here. First attack for them and they don't pull it back right. Can we get a counter attack on from it? Havertz uses Werner. Go out to Pulisic who hasn't been involved as much as Ziyech at the other side. As Pulisic keeps on running. Christian Pulisic can pull it back and it just didn't go across net. Win that header please. He does Alaba as we've still got a chance but Jack Cork again. Reese James now joining in the fun. He hasn't got a upfield in a while. As Timo Werner has it again. Ziyech with the move. Good touch. Hakim shoots and it's just bouncing all over. If we can just get a shot off. When it's bouncing close to us, we have definitely got a chance at getting loads of goals. That's a good turn from Timo, and that is two on the half hour mark. Timo Werner joins in the fun. Go and celebrate, mate. You've deserved that goal. I think it's Hakim with the assist this time. Or is it Kovacic again? It is. It's Kovacic. What am I on about? Two assists for him. He's underrated in real life and on this save. As Timo grabs another, Ben Gibson wasn't close enough, and Solar was, but just couldn't get his glove on it. And Burnley actually have the ball in our box. Ito has been dispossessed by Skriniar. Brilliant tackle. And it should be three before half time if the player's cards right. Here's Kai Havertz. The run of Hakim ZX a good one. I want Werner to make a move though. As Timo has it now. Kante making a move. Pass that to uh, Havertz. Going to turn out his Havertz. Going to go for Ziek if he stays on side. But no, a foul. And it's Hakim ZX standing over the ball. Can we get a goal here? Alaba has took the recent ones. I think if I could just put it a bit closer like that. He's got a chance as Alaba. Can he score here? David Alaba dragged it wide again. Definitely taking him off free kicks. And it should be free before half time. Look at this. It's acres of space for Pulisic who cuts back inside. Defender's actually done well to keep up with him. Although he passes it straight to Kante, his teammate. To Ziyech. Round the corner. Here's Werner. Can he chip it into the box to Pulisic? And oh, we're going to head it back across net. No one were in the box anyway. And he just couldn't get there. Ziyech a handful for defenders. As we approach half time. And he's still got a chance though as Hakim, who's been a handful. As the sliding tackle's a good one. Still, half time whistle hasn't gone. As Reese James has it. It's a good whip in. Oh, and if that would have gone further to Kovacic, he could have just smacked that straight into the back of the net. I have faith he would have done that. As it is half time. No shots of Burnley, as you expect. Really struggling this year. And I'm not going to make any changes. I want to aim for five goals instead. And let's start how we mean to go on in this second half. As Skriniar has the ball. Gives it to Mateo Kovacic around the corner to Timo Werner. Havertz. Can this German link up happen again? Timo Werner with a good touch. Defender's still on his back though. So I'm going to turn out and give it to Havertz. As Werner makes a run too close to the defenders for my liking. And here's Kante. Good pass into Kovacic. Now it was initially to Werner. Who's through? Timo for two. Should have done better with the shot. That's my fault, that. As I'm going to put Aspilicueta on for James. He's played a lot recently as Reese James. And as captain has to come back on at some point. As Tamori's at the front post. Tamori! Ooh, it was almost over Salah. And here's Christian Pulisic. Come on, look at the space he's got. He's nicked it off the defender. Keep on going, Christian. Keep on going. Cross it. Back post. And Ziek. I'm trying to cross it more now instead of cut back. 
Well, I was just thinking then. I don't think I've done it before that. As Tomori's at the front post again. Can't get his head on it. And it's hoofed up. Can Pulisic win it? Yes, he can. Alaba. Alaba chests it. Gives it to Havertz. Havertz around him to Kovacic. Good build up. And Timo, come on. I think the team's getting a little bit tired up top now as Havertz has it though. Kai Havertz around his defender. We're just going to shoot across net. Still got the ball. Oh, and went back heel it to uh, Kovacic then. And it just got stopped from Ben Mee. Best bit of defending. He's done. Not Ben Mee, sorry. Ben Gibson. Because I think Ben Mee actually might have left the club. As we can't be a bit complacent as Rodrigo lets it uh, go out of play. Rodriguez, should I say. And he's been subbed off. He must have just been angry that he's got subbed off and let it run out of play. Because he did not look like he was putting any effort in then. As we're still putting the effort in. That's a good ball over to Christian Pulisic as well. Christian Pulisic against the defender. Cuts back. Gives it to Kovacic. Back to Kai, uh, not Kai Havertz, to Kante. And what a turn. What a goal that is. What a ball from Kante. I knew it were going in when the rebound, uh, rebound came out. And that's uh, Timo Werner's second goal. Very good. I just want to admire this ball from Kante, though. Look at that. The build-up. We went back to go forward. He picked out the perfect pass to Timo Werner. And at the second time of asking after a good save from Solar, put it in the back of the net. Oh, and they've passed it straight to us. They just need to... Forfeit the game to Burnley as uh, Coleman gave it to us into Timo Werner for a hat-trick. He's got away from the defenders somehow and it's gone in. That's the worst move and worst shot we've had this game. And it's gone in for Timo Werner's hat-trick. Look at this. I bobbled my way through the defenders. I don't know how. Oh, shocking defending. And it's just come off the side of his foot. Straight past Solar again. And yeah, 4-0. I said I would aim for 5. We've still got 10 minutes left. But I'll take a 4-0 thrashing. And it still could be 5. Here's Hakim Ziyech. Oh, and he's running too fast. He's Mason Mount, who I've got another suggestion. People are reminding me to change his number. I'll do it after this game, I assure you, because I'm not going to forget in two in-game minutes. As Hundu comes forward, though. Can't let them have a goal like we did against Ajax. As it's back in the middle. Oh, and Os Oblak's out of position, but he gets to it. Oh, I don't know how he saved that. Good save from him. And it's their probably first attack of the game in the 90th minute as... We can't chip it over with Mason Mount, but that's game over. Two 4 nils in a row. Of course, West Brom, the sim game was 4 nil, And it's a very decent performance. Team over with a hat-trick as well. Love that. And going into this Ajax game, look at that. Severe and Dynamo Kiev drew. So we've got seven points, not five, on next place in the Champions League. That is outstanding at this point already. Only, what, four or three games gone? As Hassan goes up to next reign, I think... Looking at, like, Hassan going up, I'm going to just completely rotate it. Put some youth players in to go to oh, the Stamford Bridge. It's actually at home as well, which is a good advantage when we're playing younger players. But, yeah, I think I'm going to rotate heavily. And because we're on good morale, I think I'll put the players who are on bad, like the likes of Giroud and Matson, I think, the left-back, into the squad. And here is the team we're going to play. Of course, we've got to rotate as well, because I've just remembered Manchester United next, who are top of the league. We need... And I mean need to get the win. So we want to keep this form going because it's amazing at the moment. With Oblak in net, still a solid keeper in a simulated game is what you need. With James still there, Perez coming in, Tomori and Matson, who is a bit uh, frustrated with his game time. Gallagher, Kante and Mount in the middle. Gallagher actually getting a bit of her game time because he's 20 and 75. He could be an 80 rated player at one point and some use to the squad. With Hudson, Odoi, Giroud and Hassan up front. So that's quite weak. But we've still got Werner and I think Ziyech on the bench. Hopefully I kept him on, as we need to get this win against Ajax, and I've got faith we can after the first leg, and it's not even legged, as I've just brought through a youth player, and I'm going to stick him, you know, straight onto the bench, because he really does look good, I think his name's Roberts, Isaac Roberts, I don't know, but his name is Roberts, five star skills, four star week for Anhurin, unfortunately mate, you're not going to be featured at all off the bench, because this Roberts guy looks like one for the future, as uh, so we need to try and get the victory. It's not two legs like I just said. It's actually only one leg that we just played in before in the group stages. As can we get the victory? Simulate it here. Actually, I might go to the press conference, you know, just to build them up a bit more. Because it's the youth team. I think I'm going to do that. And there we go. All youth players praised. Kovacic, actually, who isn't even featured, was the main person spoke about in that press conference. And he's very happy at the moment. But can our team be happy if we get the victory against Ajax? It's a 2-1. I will take that with the squad we put out. 
2-1, Neres with a goal, James and hudson Odoi, the two young players at the right-hand side, and that is a complete performance. Just what the doctor ordered, going into Manchester United next two are, still five points clear, but we've got to get it down to two now. Got to get the team spot on as well, and it's going to be hard to pick it after that victory. And although it's not strongest, this is the team I'm going to go with. I've left Upamecano and Aspilicueta out of the back line, who are actually stronger and more fitter than Tamari and James, but the way they're playing is just outstanding at the moment, and James obviously got that goal with Oblak in the net, James Skriniar, and Alaba at the back with Kovacic, who's been amazing, Kante, who's been amazing, and Havertz, who's been exquisite in the midfield, with Ziyech, Werner, and Pulisic now 84 rated up front, like that, is growing now, which he didn't actually do to start off with, as he's 84, he just needs to get up to Ziyech and Werner's standards a bit more because he is lacking, the one lacking in the uh, trio up front, which I don't like, but still, he's doing okay. And it looks like it's a midweek game as well, which we don't like at night time. Bruno Fernandes, he's definitely going to cause some problems for us as we need, need, need the three points against Manchester United here. Scott McTominay leading them out. Thought they'd have a stronger player in CDM. Let's have a look at the lineup. With David De Gea in between the sticks, Juan Bissaka, Roman Noli, Maguire and Brandon Williams, probably left back the weakest. With Scott McTominay, Paul Pogba, Correa, Bruno Fernandes and Alexis Sanchez returns with Mason Greenwood up front. Where is Rashford? He's not on the bench, he's probably moved as Marcus Rashford always does that on Korea, which I think is so unrealistic. But it's only a help to us. Mason Greenwood up front probably shouldn't be 80 rated by now, a season in. I don't think he will be, maybe 70 something. And yeah, come on, got to get the win. And it looks like Manchester United are actually starting on the front foot. That's a foul from Reese James. Going to whack it and have them take the free kick. We've only conceded three goals in 11 games. I didn't notice that. We haven't got the strongest defence as well, but that just proves the impact that Skriniar and Alaba's had. And of course, Oblak in the sticks. Can he save this though? He can. That's what Frank needs to do in real life as well, like we've done here. Strengthen the defence. As they've rubbed the ball again, wan coming at us. He's got Correa in front of him. Got to be careful now, stand him up, he's gone rounders, can't let that happen. As wan the right back, coming forward, he isn't attacking right back as well. As he's still got the ball, coming all the way through. He's got past us, tricky feet to try and read, but we've finally got the ball. Not the ball, but a free kick. Only lost one game all season, and we sit third. That is mind-blowing, as I think Man United must be unbeaten, because we've only lost to Liverpool, as Pulisic finds a man in the middle in Kovacic, who's playing with full confidence. Good touch, Timo! And Timo scores! In a must-win game, Timo Werner comes out on top, and he's got a hat-trick lately. He's got another goal, and he's got one here, of course. What a touch, though, to steady himself for the shot, and he puts it straight past David De Gea. What a move! What a goal! 1-0 Chelsea. And you know what happened the first time we played Man United? Oh, yes, I'm going to dwell on that. We conceded two goals after being 1-0 up with Kovacic's screamer in the first episode. If you haven't seen that, you probably should have. As we've got Havertz on it now. Here's Timo again. Timo to shoot. And it's going to deflect him. And it's two. We have a 2-0 lead over Man United. Still not getting confident just yet. It happened yesterday in an Ibar episode. Where I got ahead of myself. I'm not going to do the same here. 2-0 to Chelsea. But of course, Man United are top of the league for a reason. So we hold still. We hold strong at the back with our defensive record. And we hold our heads high. You just can't stop us at the moment. We're doing so well. As Kante has the ball now. N'Golo Kante going out to Christian Pulisic. Pulisic to go in the middle. Can we play a 1-2? Here's Werner for a hat-trick. Oh, good save, David De Gea. Definitely a better save than his second one. However, it is a bad kick from David De Gea. And he's presented us with another chance. Here's Kante. Going to hit it from range and it's deflected wide. They've had 63% possession. And we are 2-0 up. That's counter-attacking football, baby. As we almost got the header in with Skriniar. Can we get there with the corner taker? No, but it's going to fall back to Hakim Ziyech, who's standing back. Still haven't changed the number of Mason Mount. Don't know why my mind went to that at the moment. But I've just remembered. As Werner, good pass. Good tackle. And don't let them get one before half-time. They've actually got a couple of men forward. Paul Pogba being one of them on the ball. Chips it to the back post. And Sanchez is never going to win that. Never had to worry as can play it out. Can we get another goal, though? Kai Havertz going across to Pulisic. Not a good ball from uh, Kai Havertz. As we give him another chance. wan Saka to Angel Correa. Lines it up. What a save, Oblak. And yes, not going to make any changes. 
Not going to worry myself because, of course, I've got a 2-0 lead. But Man United is starting to come into it a little bit. Going to keep the same team. Maybe Tamori later can come off for Upamecano. Although I have faith in Fakayo Tamori. And yeah, I have faith in the whole team altogether. 2-0 against top of the league. And can it be more? Hakim Ziyech making a good move. Brandon Williams has got the better of Brandon Williams. Ziyech to cross it in. Pulisic arriving. And he's just behind his man. And he's a bit small. He's like Alexis Sanchez going for headers there. And Paul Pogba on the ball. Good interception. Let's get forward. Here's Timo Werner. Good movement, but he's passed it straight into his man. Chance for Manchester United to come at us. And it's Bruno Fernandes. If we've just let him go past us. He's got it to Mason Greenwood. Skriniar all over the place. What a tackle, though, from Fakayo to... Mo oh, no. David Alaba, I think I can tell by the hair. And, yeah, kept us in it. And a throw in here for United as they made a change. Career coming off, I think... It may be for Dan James. Oh, he scored against us before, you know. I can't say he's an easy opponent. As Skriniar has the ball now. Pass it to Ziyech. Let's get up the field quick. Havertz. Round the corner. Yes. To Timo Werner. Back. Can we get it, Werner? What a move this is going to be. Can it be a hat-trick for Timo? Chip it back over, Werner. He has... Not Werner. Ziyech. And he has done, but it's not a good one. And here's Kai Havertz. Still want Werner having this hat-trick. Timo, run that gap. You've got the pace on Maguire. You have got the pace on Maguire. And oh, De Gea's been dodgy with these saves, putting a cross net. If Havertz or wherever Pulisic is, if, you, if they were there, they would have had an easy tap-in. But it's not to be. Still got this move going, though. Kovacic to Timo Werner. Good cutback. Timo Werner. And it's in the top bins. Another hat-trick for Timo. What a player he is. And it's 3-0. We've got the win that we desperately needed against Man United. Oh, what a move. Of course, it's Kovacic with the assist. Who else? An amazing player. And an amazing finish from Timo Werner. It's 3-0 against Man United. And three goals for him. 11 for, uh, for his kit number and 11 for the season. Still, don't want to gift them a goal here. As that's a rough tackle from Skiriniar. Probably the worst one he's done whilst he's been here. As we've got it out to Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz to Hakim Ziyech. On your bike, Werner. And yeah, just trying to hoof it towards him. And that's game. Timo put a rash tackle in at the end there. He's probably got a yellow. But that's a bit of deja vu, in it? Timo Werner going to collect the ball. I'm sure that happened last game. And yes, buzzing with that performance. As it's the morale, I think. It's definitely the morale which has got us winning. So I'm going to go into every press conference now to try and keep it up. And yes... Look at it now. That's magnifico. Two points is probably the best we could have asked for. One point still off Liverpool, though, and I don't get how we're in third. Let's have a look at the defensive records for these. They've already conceded more than us, Man United, because we only conceded three all season, and they've conceded eight. We've conceded three, and we've almost scored as much as them. One goal behind, but West Ham scoring 28. They're on really good form. Where's Arsenal and Spurs? Ninth and 11th. What has Burnley actually get another point? Good for Burnley at the bottom. But yeah, that has been an amazing episode for us. But we go into a hard month with City, uh, Dynamo Kiev and Arsenal in the next one. If you're excited for that, smash a like and comment, share and subscribe along with it. Keep the bell on for notifications if you want to see me upload more of these. We've got another career as I'm hyping up so much recently, which I need to actually get out coming soon as the eyeball one comes to a close. Don't miss that one and don't miss the next episode of this. Stay safe. Have a good day in a bit. Peace. Peace.